What's going on everybody? Dan here with The Great Adventure. Um, it is our last night of camping. We left Gulf Shores this morning. We are on our way back to Indiana. We are in uh, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville, Tennessee now. As you can see, it's pretty dark. I'm using my handy dandy little light to do this video. But uh, it's probably gonna be another month before we're able to camp locally. We're right at the one year anniversary of buying our Puma travel trailer from Walnut Ridge. So I was talking to Sarah while we were gone and I said, you know, what do you love? What do you hate? What do you wish you did different now that we're a year in with the Puma and traveling and camping and everything? So what I thought I would do is give you the things that she and I talked about we came up with that we wished our Puma had. So we have the 32 RKTS, which is rear kitchen two slides. We come in at 7,800 pounds dry. As it says, we have the kitchen in the rear. We have a bedroom. Uh, matter of fact, I'll put a link below to see the inside and the outside tour of the Puma rather than to go all in on it. Um, what do we not like? Because that will be a list shorter than what we do like. So in talking about it, the two things we came up with were we wish the ceilings were higher. We wished we had the domed feel that you have or the dome that you have in a fifth wheel. We've toured a lot of fifth wheels if you've seen, as you've seen from our other videos and we love that. It just feels more spacious in there. Now, I don't wanna make it sound like we have to duck. I'm six foot tall, I have plenty of room in there, there's no issue. It's just that arched ceiling just makes you feel like you have so much more room in the camper than what a, fifth, or what a uh, travel trailer like ours does. The second thing, and this one's a big stretch for us, uh, we, we really had a hard time coming up with things we didn't like. The second thing that we came up with was not having a king bed. We have a king bed at home and switching from the king to the queen, listen, I love Sarah to death, she's great, she would agree with me if she was out here, but switching to a queen is a huge difference. You just don't have the same amount of room that you have in the king. This one did not come with the option of having a king bed. I don't think you have the, um, the space. Our bedroom is a slide out and it does have ample room at the end of the bed, but as far as the sides, you just don't have the space for a king bed. Um, so basically the two things that we don't like about our travel trailer are a lot of the things you get in the fifth wheels, especially a lot of like cougars that we've been looking at. Um, but that was the only two things we could really think about. Like it's easy to pull down the road. It's easy to set up. It's easy to take down. It's very, very homey feeling. We love the fireplace, the big TV, the recliners, the couch. Um, Oh, I guess it is one other thing. We have the two-seater couch that folds out to a bed. And Sarah said, you know, it'd be nice if it was like the three-seater to where you could actually lay down and stretch out on it. Um, we like, it's not a jackknife bed. I forget what it's called. I'll, I, I'll remember and put it up in the video right now so I don't sound stupid. But um, those are the three things we could think about. Everything else, we like the lights, we like the way everything functions, and uh, you know, it's, I know you can't see it in the background, but uh, it's just an awesome travel trailer. I love the decals on the outside. It pulls really well. The um, top additions video, which I'll put a link down below if I finish that one. I shot that while we were in Gulf Shores, but those are some of the add-ons that we've done to make it feel even more like home and a little bit more convenient. But as far as pulling it off the lot and just having an awesome travel trailer, we, we love our Puma. We will probably, for our next camper, we will probably go with a fifth wheel uh, just so we can have that king bed option and a washer and dryer. We have the washer and dryer space in here, so that's not an issue. It's just we want the king bed and the washer and dryer. So I, I foresee us going with a fifth wheel for our next one. But uh, if you're in the market and you're looking for a really affordable, very, very nice, very modern travel trailer, I, I can't say anything really bad about Puma. 
Thank you for watching. As always, we really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button at the end of the video. Leave a comment down below if you have a question, comment, concern. I, As you'll see from my other videos, I love responding. I love commenting and talking with you guys, and I really appreciate it. And safe travels, everyone.